Hey guys, Danny here from Swerve Church coming at you with another video. And today we're gonna to be answering a question that perhaps many of you have. This is gonna be a super practical video uh, with some steps that you can take and that you can apply um, right now. The question that we're gonna be answering is this, how do we make a regular rhythm out of our church attendance? Now, perhaps uh, you realize and you know that church is super important and you want to make it a priority in your life. However, uh, your church attendance is somewhat lackadaisical. You don't quite have the energy or you don't quite put forth the effort that you need in order to go to church regularly. You know that it's important to get together with God's people, to worship, to sit under the teaching of God's word, and to fellowship and to relate, build uh, friendships and relationships and to encourage one another. But yet it's not quite um, as important to you or you're quite not able to make it a regular thing. Well, then this video is for you. I want to give you four steps that you can take to help you make your church attendance more of a regular rhythm in your life. The first tip is this, and that is to make it a priority. Those things that are in our lives that are very important to us, we prioritize. We calendar it. We set reminders for it, right? I bet you your next doctor's appointment, your dentist appointment, uh, your, your, your kid's birthday party or whatever, you have it prioritized and you have it calendared. We prioritize those things that are important to us. And if church attendance is that, if going to church, fellowshipping with God's people is important, then you should make it a priority. And perhaps part of the reason why you're a little lackadaisical in your attitude of all your church attendance is because it's quite frankly it's not as important to you so make it a priority here's the second tip and that is to set an alarm Now, how practical is this? If you're anything like me, you need to set two or three alarms just to make sure that you don't sleep past the first one. Now, perhaps you had a late night, you stood up late Saturday night or whatever the case is, and you're super sleepy. It's the weekend, I get it, you wanna sleep in, but you need to set an alarm in order to make sure that you're getting up on time. And set two or three so that you can get past that barrier and make sure that you're up, brushing your teeth, eating breakfast, whatever the case is, so that you're out of the door and getting ready for church. Here's the third tip for all of us that we can apply, and it's this, is to remove all the obstacles. Now, I don't know about you guys, but since this is a spiritual endeavor, going to church, worshiping with God's people, it's a spiritual endeavor, therefore our spiritual enemy will try to do whatever he can to try to put as many obstacles in our path. You know, whether that is waking up to a flat tire, uh, Sunday morning, whether that is waking up with the sniffles or a cough, you go to take a shower and there's no hot water, Guys, these are obstacles that we need to learn to persevere. A lot of times, it's just simple things that happen in our lives uh, that we have to learn to overcome. Uh, sometimes it is an attack uh, from our spiritual enemies trying to keep us away. Uh, but listen, these obstacles or these excuses that you're putting to keep you from going to church on Sunday are not excuses that you put to go to work on Monday or to go to school on Tuesday or to go to a birthday party on Wednesday. So they shouldn't be an obstacle or an excuse to keep you from going to church Sunday morning. Make it a priority, remove the obstacles, make sure you set an alarm and here's number four is the fourth practical tip that you can apply is to persevere guys things are going to get in your way obstacles are going to are going to come up things are going to try to keep you from seeking out god's best in your life and, and, and fellowshipping with god's people what you need to do is persevere overcome those obstacles don't give up whatever it is whatever it takes continue to pursue, continue to persevere, and don't give up. Guys, I pray and hope that these four tips will be extremely helpful for you in helping build a regular rhythm of church attendance. I'm here to support you guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments down below. Uh, share your own personal tips. What tips do you have in place to make sure that you have church attendance as a regular rhythm in your life and a priority? Share it with the community uh, down below so that we can all help and learn and grow together.